So this is the relatable part of the show. Uh, a traumatic event happened to you in October. Yes. Uh, your Porsche Cayenne was stolen mm-hmm. from the uh, driveway. It's mm-hmm. every rich person's nightmare. Oh, well, it's more of a nightmare because I had all my designer clothes from BravoCon in it. I had my um, computer, all my uh, stuff for for uh, going to the accountant and things like that. Yeah, uh, and stuff like personal stuff that I love. My Sexual. little wooden cross from Israel. Stuff um, that my brother gave me when I used to work in the jail. You know, you keep on the side there yes. in case somebody comes up to your window. Let me ask you a question. So I don't have a garage, so I park my cars. It's behind a gate, but I have parked my cars in the driveway. Shane, let me ask you, what is the best place to store my value, valuables and tax returns? I would put it in the car. Yeah. <laughs> I would just, just keep it out what there. What about my designer clothes, like my, my um, like well, Gucci uh, loafers? I would put those in the back seat and then like the personal docs in the front seat. Right. I just got back from BravoCon. And if I have like Monroe's baby book and her birth Gabby's certificate. Baby picture. I'd put that in the car. So wait, so all of a sudden, like they can't find, I'm friends with all the cops. They see my cars getting pinged, going through tolls and everything. Think. They're like, your car's here, your car's here. And we couldn't find it. And then my mom calls me. She goes, there's so many cars being stolen. There was a Porsche that looked just like yours that was wrapped around a pole last night. <laughs> I'm like, you're kidding me. I called the cops. It was mine. <gasps> yes. So, so was it, it was in a high-speed chase. Was it totaled? Totally yeah, well, totaled. Holy shit. I'm like, looking at a picture right so now. Destroyed. Yeah. They just rammed into a pole there. Yeah. So they went to school after that. They have some work ethic. These kids, they're up <laughs> all night. I'm impressed. They still he went, went to, to class. They went to class. They went to school. Good for them. But when he got to school, he realized his phone was still in the car, and he got <laughs> upset. True story. So he turned story. himself in because he wanted his phone back. That's unbelievable. And How you know old the was the kid, do you know? He was like 16, 16. 17. Okay. But you know what the cops told me? That he will get no time, and he will only get as much time as if he stole a cell phone from the Apple store. That is as much trouble as they're going to get in. So the message is here to all Jeff Lewis Live listeners is steal <laughs> a car. Yeah. Steal a car. That's what I'm Why saying. am I shopping for a car? I can just steal one. Crime, so what crime did happen pays. to him? Um, it's just on his record that he stole a car? Yeah, he's a juvenile. It'll, juvenile, it'll okay. never be shown. He, he'll get a slap on the wrist and he could go steal more cars. But I think cars he had been it. stealing a lot of cars. Oh wow! That's he's not thing. in trouble. Let's put it this way: he's not in trouble. He may have even gotten his cell phone back, if I know that. Can you sue his parents uh, civilly? I wish some things. Go- uh, you know what? His parents aren't showing up to court. Like I used to work in this yes. industry, as you know. Yes. Um, the parents wouldn't even show up to court, so they'd even back when kids got in trouble for these type of things, um, they'd stay in jail a lot longer because their parents weren't coming for them. Now nobody's coming because they're not even being held. It's not a big deal, mm. and it's disgusting because you know what. Not for nothing. I had to change all my bank accounts. I lost my clothes, but I lost very personal things that meant a lot to me, like Gabby's baby picture. You know, like leave Monroe's baby. But picture. like the but, car was wrapped around the tree, but like all the stuff was taken out of it. Everything was taken out except. So he took me because I was like, you know, you're violated now. They took my yeah, stuff. Yeah. And stuff I had for many, many years. Sure. Did they, they leave the lovely out. seasoning? Probably. No. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have it. They I added more. It. Actually, nobody wants. They would have taken it. God. They, they you, wouldn't have stole the so car. Took, so being Irish guy, my, no, my good so. boyfriend that he is, he took me to go say goodbye to my car. And it was in the tow yard. And the only thing I found was my daughter's baby picture. Oh, wow. So, because, oh, by the way, oh, and my Chanel wallet. Okay. You found your Chanel wallet? My Chanel wallet they was in there. They left it there? Yes. They have bad taste. And my social security card. <laughs> Thank my God. My first one that I got when I was like 15 years but old. But did you lose your purse too? But like, yeah. did No, not person... my purse. It was a purse. It was my so my gift it. that Teresa gave us for being in the wedding. It was a, an initialed big bag with all stuff filled in it. And um, There's a lot I of valuable it said, stuff in there. It though, said DC on it. I mean, yes. what is he going to do with it? What, he... what was the kid's name? I, I mean, don't even it's, know. It's, it's only but good what, if his name was also DC. When they caught the guy or when he turned himself in, you were like, I had all the stuff in the car. Where the fuck is it? You know what it was? What did he say? No Laptop, one cared. Nothing. They don't care. No one cared. He's like, I don't know. I don't know or whatever, right? It's gone. Okay. And yeah. Crazy. So I'm just curious, like the the, the bags, the-, the It doesn't what did get you lo- unless I put it through my homeowners. But what did you lose? Oh, okay. So I lost um, Aquazora shoes still in the box. He bought me Gucci, Versace, three pair of shoes that were just- only worn at BravoCon. Um, a bunch of designer clothes like Alice and Olivia. Yeah. Uh, See, he'd Louis get the Vuitton. death penalty in Jeff Lewis live yeah, court. Yeah, 
I you would, don't steal yeah. people's would, designer bags. I would not the want Gucci. him to not Gucci. Not the Versace. Oh, a Chanel bag. I had a Chanel no. bag in there because I had my Chanel wallet, which was black. So when it fell on the floor, I guess um, you couldn't see it really. You couldn't or whatever. see it, yeah. so they left it there. Yeah. I uh, those bags are expensive now. Those Chanel bags, like eighty five hundred bucks. Yeah. The guy that dinner I the know. other night was trying to tell me that <laughs> Celine was uh, the, for young people. Yeah, he was like, "What did he? What did he say about Celine?" He was like, "Yeah, because he had a job at Celine." So, and Jeff was asking about bags, and he said, "Well, if you're over forty, then you can get the Chanel bag, but if you're under forty, you should have the Celine bag." I dress younger than myself, so I'm gonna go get a Celine bag now. If that's what it means. Because <laughs> I was asking him, "What's your most popular products?" And he said that what is the Triumph bag uh, or something? I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I still Whoa. think a Chanel is you could you, you could always resell Whoa. a Chanel. <laughs> That's why the guy stole it. Probably the kid stole it because you can resell it. He, he might have left the Celine bag. Value. Yeah. yeah, you know what? They were so young. There was things they probably didn't know the value of. They just dumped it. So they just wanted a car. They just wanted a car. They didn't want to do anything. And you know what happened to me a, a month before? Um, no, it happened actually. No one knows this. At Teresa's wedding, there was they were missing an envelope. I got. Um, the bank called me and said that something had happened, like a check was cashed for thousands of dollars. And I'm like, but that's the only check I wrote was to Teresa. Somebody stole one of her cards, or maybe it fell on the ground or whatever when I left on it. And remember, because that was a fun wedding. And uh, cashed it and washed it. They whitewashed the check. They put it through a washing machine, and then they refill it out. Changed the name, changed the amount, and got away with it. Wow. Mm. Did you also, you probably didn't look hard enough in the car because my, my guess is there was also that quick six fix book that uh, <laughs> Chef Stu wrote. Was that probably <laughs> still, Actually, that was still I, the car? I, I think that's what went under the pedal when he went to the brakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prevent that from breaking. Yeah. <laughs> oh my so God. So thank you, Stu. <laughs> <laughs>